Okay, so today I'm going to share with you something I've been working on uh, that's kind of a continuation of something I've already established. What I've already established is this. This is a holder for um, a charging station that's commonly used in uh, North America and other places in the world to charge electric vehicles, specifically uh, cars and trucks and things like that. This is essentially exclusively used in North America for level 1 and level 2 charging. That's 120 or 240 volts AC. And I designed this uh, with the help of the community a little bit. And uh, now I'm in production with, uh, with this guy. This is now available on Amazon.ca and Amazon.com. And you can get these in Europe as well, but I don't ship too many of these to Europe. They're not so popular. But I have had requests for the European version, which is called Type 2. It's also for level 1 level 2 charging. Uh, and it's very different in its regard. It doesn't have this hook on here. It's just a couple holes. And uh, currently, the, generally the only option for that holder holster thing that uh, is available right now is this thing from China. Uh, it looks like a central vacuum inlet. And it sticks out of the wall at exactly 90 degrees like this. And not only that, it has moving parts in it. You gotta push down a button and to be able to remove it because there's a little hook latch in here. So the difference is the moving part on the North American one is on here and the moving part is on here. But as a result, it makes this car part really complicated uh, and uh, ex probably relatively expensive. So uh, I've had requests to take a look at in designing one for uh, the European market and uh, for these, like the European version of this. And so I'm posting this video for feedback to see what everyone thinks. This is what I have so far. I'm thinking there's still a lot of refinement that needs to be done to this. I'm going to do something similar to this, mainly because of uh, limitations of injection molding. You can't do super complicated shapes. I have There will be a hook for the cord. Uh, this one's broken off right now just because I didn't like how it turned out. That's it there. Uh, I'll probably do like a hood like this one. Uh, that way this will work with injection molding. Plus there's a little hook on the inside here that it's kind of impossible to do with injection molding without having kind of a guide hole at the back. That's, that's this, this thing here to get that kind of overhang. But anyways, this actually does work. It's, it took about two, uh, two or three attempts to get this right. And it holds it down about 45 degrees and it's steady. Now the, this print, as good as it looks, it actually is a failure. Uh, the support material didn't quite turn out the way it was supposed to. Uh, and also I think 45 degrees is a little too steep. Like it does a job, but if it was just a little bit less, it would be that much easier. Plus this, this one's not 45 degrees anyway, so I think it's more like 30. Uh, so that tilting down is, it helps it more ergonomic, it's intuitive, and it keeps it away from the wall. It's less of a chance of it getting snagged and hooked on something, because these things are expensive, right? You don't want to be breaking these. So this thing sticks out. The idea is to have it stick out and have the cord kind of come straight down-ish. You know, there's some variation with these. They're not all perfect. Well, they're not all the same. I mean, uh, like this one, for example, like that, this does not come down anywhere near 45 degrees. So if I, like, you'd have to, uh, whatever, you get, you get the idea. So the idea is for feedback. What do you guys think of this? Is there anything that you'd like to see or uh, uh, things that I should avoid? Um, post it in the comments. Thanks a lot.